and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K. Tonight we're going to be doing Red Hook Audible Ale. It's called a crushable, they call it a crushable ale. And I guess it that is means it's highly drinkable. 4.7% alcohol by volume. And it is in collaboration with someone I can't remember. Dan Patrick Show. Ah, it's yes. some kind of TV show that I don't have cable, nor do I watch TV. I haven't had cable so. in years. Cable costs money. It's uh, I, Cable is so much more expensive than Netflix. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, look at that. It's hazy. Uh, pretty carbonated. Uh, light done, to medium. We haven't done a, a, a nice beer in a while. Uh, I'm a big fan of Red Hook. I like Red Hook, too. I, I hadn't tried Red Hook until until fairly recently. And this and, has uh, a very light, hoppy smell to it. It's very pleasant on the nose and slight uh, slight graininess. Mm. Uh, it's not overbearing smells, in the hoppiness. It smells kind of sessionable. Mm. Doesn't it smell kind of... I want to drink it. Kind of light. Like, not light, but kind of... Yeah, that. It does call it crushable, and I could say I could easily drink a lot of that. Could you crush it? I could. Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst pun I've made all day, and that's saying something. There's a nice, pleasant hoppiness up front. There's a nice, malty finish. You get hints of... Uh, hint, hint, very, very light hint of grapefruit. Mm. Not... not we're not talking IPA level. The IBUs is probably like twenty five. That see, this seems really sessionable. It's it's um, it's super super. As far as an ale, I wouldn't like if I were drinking this. If I had a bottle with no label on it and it didn't look like a Red Hook bottle, because that's let's be honest, looks like a Red. It Hook reminds bottle. me of a pale ale. It doesn't remind me of uh, of an ale. It reminds of me of a pale, pale ale. It reminds me of a pale ale. No, it's not, it's it's not, not enough to be. It's a not pale. strong enough to be a pale ale. It's just super light. Um, it's kind of, like I said, light hoppy up front. It's a little a nice malty on the finish, nice sweetness, a um, little very crisp, very refreshing, super easy to drink. Yeah, this is really drinkable. Um, you could accidentally get in pretty deep with one of these if you were uh, not paying attention. Mouthfeel is light to watery. Um, yep, it but is But that's pretty what makes light. it drinkable. Yeah, that is one of the things that make it drinkable. Another one of the things that makes it drinkable is there's not anything in there that's giving you like crazy peaks. There's no stupidly loud hop character. There's no really uh, really crazy uh, sweetness from malt. It's just it's very it's funny uh, crispy. Red Hook's drinkable. kind of been creeping into our area. Like I saw like it has. a few months ago I saw one. I'm like, oh, look at that. And then there's every once in a while you see another couple. Yeah, and, I, rem I remember seeing that the first time I saw it was um... Ah, I can't remember what it was. It might have been their IPA, but it but now was... they're starting to be available at gas stations. Before they, yeah, were, like you might like, see it at uh, liquor bar. I had to go somewhere. to. Uh, I went to a place called the Beer Store. Yes, that's what it's called. I had to go to a place called the Beer Store, and I was like, oh, what? Look at this. What is this? I will buy one of these just because the bottle looks neat. I'm Red Hook is a good solid beer. I really I'm enjoy materialistic it. Uh, like that. I'm gonna give this a eight. Um, yeah, it's super drinkable. Um, Price is right on Red Hook. They're between seven ninety nine and eight ninety nine for a six pack. Mm -hmm. Worth that, in my opinion. Um, and they just—I have not had a bad beer from them. So yeah, Red Hook uh, makes a pretty solid beer would all highly around so far. What about you, Radar? Uh, I'm not going to give them an eight. Um, I'm going to give them about a seven. Uh, if they had had a little bit more um, uh, daring, I'm going to call it daring flavor. Like most of the Red Hook beers are like. Here's a beer, and this is what it tastes like. And I really like that. But this one is just really low-key, which is not bad. That doesn't make it a bad beer. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you would like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.